All right, we are back, and we just got off this game between Frankenstein and Tony97. Once again, for the third time in a row, we have Tony losing to Frankenstein, and we're going to see how game four plays off. This is the number one and the number two players of this wonderful game, Seven Wonders Duel. We're going to see them go right into this one with a different amount of ELO. Frankenstein at 866. Tony still above that 800 line, and you only need to stay above 700 to keep your master strat. So, yeah, the number one and number two are top masters. And to, uh, to help you understand uh, my naiveties, as I'm explaining this game, I'm only a 600 level player currently. Um, so, so working my way to get to master, I hit the expert 500 a little bit ago, and now we're going to see at this high level of play, with both expansions even, how, how these players play. Alright, so let's see, Frankenstein is going to pick first, um, and are we looking from the, uh, well, this time it will be a little differently, we're going to look at how the underdog does things, so... Tony97 going to be at the bottom, Frankenstein up at the top. Slight difference in how we've done the previous videos, but let's talk about the Senate. So this decree token is going to be very important to take. This decree token, very important to take. This first political senator uh, is not going to allow them to take either of those. So maybe uh, this right section gets taken in the beginning. The rest are face down. No, there's one more for a middle. That middle politician is going to be really key to taking this one. However, it's really deep down in the structure. Um, looking at yellow cards, two of four are revealed. The tavern's not revealed, so somebody flipping up a card could reveal a tavern, and tavern's a huge predictor in who's going to win. Tony... Um, Tony has gone science every game so far, uh, or at least they've taken uh, a science card in H1, which uh, gives off the idea that they're open to doing a science strategy with this uh, both Agora and Pantheon expansion combined. That seems to be the meta. And now, before we start in, we look at the wonders. I guess we could also look at the progress tokens. Um, progress tokens not really good in this this uh, setup. There's no uh, strategy. There's no theology. There's no law. There's not even uh, economy or urbanism. Or this is the least juicy. <laughs> if you look at my channel, I rate the different progress token setups by juiciness level. And uh, and yeah, we see here, yeah, not very good. Philosophy, masonry, ugh, terrible. Polyceretics, terrible. Okay. So, we are going to look at the wonders now. Looking at these wonders, I'm thinking that the right answer is going to be taking an extra turn as your first one. You don't want to be out extra turns, and maybe the next setup has Divine Theater. Um, yeah, it, it would make sense to... Take the extra turn while you can, so that you can take one of the more powerful Nosos or Divine Theaters later and not worry about being behind on extra turns. But I've seen Mausoleum taken in the first game of this series we watched. Mausoleum was taken prior to an extra turn wonder, which blew my mind. We'll see what Frankenstein chooses. Alright, so the first move is Mausoleum. And then um, the next move, I would guess, is going to be Sanctuary and... Circus Maximus, because Frankenstein keeps grabbing these greys, so why not take Circus Maximus and prevent that? Also, it's the cheaper of the two. Giving Statue of Zeus to Frankenstein. And then... Temple of Artemis makes sense to be taken by Tony. Pain Gardens and Colossus by Frankenstein. I know Frankenstein loves their Colossus. And Tony is happy with the pyramids because they like to get the get the points at the end. They gave up a 
They gave up a great library for pyramids in one game. That just blew my mind. Why would you do that? But, I mean, great library can likely give you just as many points, if not more, than than uh, pyramids uh, much, of the, much of the time. All right, so Frankenstein, what are they going to do? Um, I think the first moves are going to be this side Senate. Is this one cost a coin? This one cost a coin. Maybe they just take the glassworks because they want to set up for uh, Colossus in in uh, early round two. Maybe. Um, I know if they have Colossus, they I've seen Frankenstein in I think one of the games that I've played with Frankenstein. They've used Colossus to to very early try to get a senator out there and, and push that that pawn right there that military token reveal but i'm lost as far as how this is going to start out i think we're looking at the bottom left i think these two are going to be really important in this engagement but i could be totally wrong let's see how it plays out you definitely want to watch out for this token you don't want to take one of these two cards because then the other player takes this and then they have so much information in the next stage about the uh the god cards so let's start right in and let's go okay Okay, never mind. First t per thing taken is a glass from Frankenstein. They don't even worry about Ra getting revealed. And Tony doesn't care because they're going to discard Pharmacist? Why was Pharmacist discarded? That doesn't make any sense to me. What? I wish I could I could help you all as viewers understand what's going on, but I don't know understand what's going on myself. Why was that the right move? Discarding a science card? Were they thinking they just needed to have extra coins to do something powerful? Okay, Frankenstein taking another science right here. Maybe they talked before the game went. They, they said, all right, Tony, you've lost three games. This time I'm going to go for a science strategy and beat you. And then Tony said, okay, well, I'm discarding all of the science cards. I don't know what happened there. This is this is blowing my mind why this was the case. Um. Okay, so Tony is going to... Or also start dabbling in uh, politics. Why? Frankenstein had an opportunity to take the... the decree token that allows him to get a bonus with a, uh, a black card. Why are they playing so suboptimally? I don't understand. Um, I mean, how I see it. I, I really wouldn't expect them to give up that. Okay. So, yeah, Tony going to do that. Um, maybe there won't be any black uh, conspirators out there, and so they're thinking, well, don't want, don't worry about it. Um, Tony finally going to take a resource. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a trash game. Okay. Uh, Bring and stain, building a, a blue card, and then Tony following that up with a blue card take. Uh, Frankenstein not having any coins, but their their economy is looking fine. Tony spending a bunch of coins, twelve coins, to be able to do what? To take a senator. Well, first, they're gonna put the. Uh, I just don't understand what the right, why they're playing like this. Okay, so pushing a uh, a senate cube out there. And Tony going to be able to really control the Senate from this point on. Why didn't Frankenstein try to stop that middle area? It doesn't make sense to me why they did that. Hmm. Okay. I wish I could have seen the chat for this one. Alright. So Frankenstein going to take... Uh, or uh, uh, I guess Tony took a wood, Frankenstein took a card. Right. Then... 
moving on into age two. Alright, Tony going to recruit a conspirator for three coins, and where are they going to put that one? Yeah, this game four I'm not really loving so much. I just, I just don't understand why some of the moves were the way they were. But let's get back into it. So, uh, Tanit taken, that's, that makes sense, a very good move, taking 12 coins. Um, and so you'll be able to afford the gate. Ra is not out there, uh, Anubis is out there, and that's going to be really crucial to rebuild the Temple of Artemis, a very common move, a useful move um, that Tony could try to pull off. Tony going to take Neptune. Ooh, Neptune going to be really useful, especially as Frankenstein is pushing in military. They're going to make it so that Frankenstein doesn't get the synergy that military grants for politics. And they're going to jump around and even... Uh, control that military uh, Senate area instead of the one that gives extra turns for uh, black conspirators. Hmm. Anubis taken from Frankenstein all the way down the field, so eight coins uh, so that they can spend two coins to get six coins back again with uh, Hanging Gardens. Move my face out the way so you can see that. Alright, so playing in the top left so we can look at how that's going to be going what is going to be revealed there okay they discard their rostrum for three coins and then okay mars was taken by tony 97 and we are seeing the uh political pawn going all the way back there from where it came. Frankenstein discarding the laboratory. I wonder if one of them gets Nisaba from the gate and then they copy a science uh, card of the opponent. That would be pretty interesting. Neither one really going for science. I don't think we'll see very many science victories with these two. Um, likely going to see a lot of point victories because they're very neck and neck. Um, We've seen a military, I think we just saw a political and, and a, a points. So game four, what's it going to come down to? Alright, so gate gets taken. Will my Nisaba theory happen? No. It's going to actually be a steal of a resource. What resource gets taken? Ball is going to steal um, the papyrus. Okay. So making it really difficult. For Tony. Now, Tony is going to use Circus Maximus to destroy that papyrus, to, um, or maybe going to destroy the glass. Not sure what uh, what the right move is there, but uh, first off, we, we got to pay attention to the Senate here. So, three are controlled by Tony, or Frankenstein, and two are controlled by Tony. Nobody touching that, uh, the extra turns with black cards one which I really love that one. I feel like extra turn is so important. But why did they not do that? I just don't understand that. Maybe the thought process was they needed to start encroaching on... Frankenstein wanted to start encroaching on Tony's uh, controlled areas. Now, uh, Frankenstein... Oh, I'm getting them mixed up. Okay, so Frankenstein actually has the bottom part. Tony has the top part, and except for now Frankenstein is in control of the token that's going to allow them to get extra turns from these conspirators. Frankenstein discarding uh, a single conspirator. Tony going to get Circus Maximus built so that they can place out one cube. Where are they going to put it? Yeah, so the glass was destroyed with Circus Maximus, making Mausoleum just a little bit more expensive. Uh, Statue of Zeus built next to take out which one? Oh, Stone. Now, taking out Stone is a key move. Going into age 3, Stone is very important to win in military. But Tony not, not biting that bait. They're going to say, nope, I'm fine not having the Stone. I'm going to try to push you in military. 
and Frankenstein doubling down, getting two stone. And that is going to make it very difficult for Tony to win in points. Points right now are 13 to 12. We got Frankenstein with one coin, 13 points, and then uh, Tony at 2 and 12. So now we have the age, one, age 3 set up, and Tony chooses to go first. Actually, Frankenstein let Tony go first, because Frankenstein's losing in military. And that's how it goes. Pyramid's going to be way too expensive for Tony to build at 16 coins. Incredible. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't think uh, that Tony can win in points based on how the resources are going. Maybe they continue to struggle for military dominance at this point. However, Frankenstein has Colossus and has Mausoleum, so it would make sense that uh, yeah, the military is going to be really tough for Tony to pull off, just because of those those two wonders that you see right there. All right, so that Senate getting controlled fully now from the top by Tony, and then the bottom of the Senate controlled still by Frankenstein. So a potential win could happen with Senate, um, and Frankenstein doesn't know what uh what conspiracy is right there so they don't real they don't know they have to watch out they have to be careful because anything could happen it could be coup to help them with military it could be a political maneuver to really help them win there but now they're going to pull off the turn of events triggering that one they're going to get rid of exactly one card or two cards what are they going to choose All right, it would appear that, yeah, Tony's going to rely on the points from these uh, Grand Temples to maybe pull off a point win. But yeah, when you're lacking in stone, it gets really difficult. Look at that, eight coins for that blue card. It's like every almost every blue card in H3 uses a, a stone. All right, Tony going to get some coins for the three wonders they have built. Uh, Frankenstein's feeling pretty good. They don't need to build that mausoleum till the last moment because pyramids ain't going to get built with 16 coins needed. All right, Frankenstein. Okay, I got six coins for the, each gray building. That was a cool move. But now Arsenal gets taken by Tony, and that's a three-shielder. And maybe potentially we could see a military victory no the other three has been taken so a military victory is not in the cards for for either player only trying their best to pull off a political victory right here are they going to just place a cube no they're they're going to grab maybe a conspiracy and hope for potentially you know, even political maneuver wouldn't do it as far as that. So, ooh, the one that makes the opponent's coins half. That would have been good for the last game when Frankenstein had over 30 coins. Um, this game, not going to matter as much, but we'll see what, uh, what ends up happening there. Are they going to trigger it? Um, nope, not going to trigger it yet. Let's see. Frankenstein constructing a uh, Mesopotamian temple. So that cost them a bit, four coins, but that's that's not too bad. And uh, now we're going to... It's going to probably come down to points, I'd imagine. And... Yeah, grabbing the study for, for three coin... Or for five coins to get three points. And Tony scoring three points uh, there and... Frankenstein discarding building observatory for seven coins. Um, yeah, so closer game, I think. But... Ooh, Tony actually pulls it off this time. Even though Tony made some really weird moves in the beginning, Frankenstein also made some weird moves. 
But it actually came down to Tony in the end there. They ended up pulling off that conspiracy. I forgot to mention that. The blackmail to to half the coins. I think, when did they do that move? Um, yeah, they, they did that move just before they built the study. Okay. So that may have had an effect. How many coins were lost there? Um, doesn't say in the log, but... Um, but yeah, that's important. All right, so hopefully you all enjoyed that video. And so we're now at uh, three games, or one by Frankenstein and one game by Tony. We will move on to the fifth game in our next video. Thanks so much for watching.